Now for this part of the question, we're given that this is the equation of a circle C then, and we've got to find the coordinates of the centre and the radius of the circle. This is a fairly standard question, type of question, and we should be familiar with it. If not, uh, I'll just give you a quick reminder. And that is that if you've got an equation of this format, it represents a circle with center at x1, y1, and radius r. So what we've got to do then is get this equation into this format. And to do that, we use completing the square. And I'm assuming that you're familiar with completing the square. If not, just go on my website and have a look in the index for completing the square. Before we start, though, I'm just going to group together the x terms, well, the x squared term and the x term. So we've got x squared plus 4x, and then we've got the y squared minus the 2y, and then you could add the 11 to both sides, and so it equals 11. So when it comes to x squared plus 4x, we can complete the square for these two terms. It's going to be x, and then you halve the coefficient of x, which is 4 at the moment. So if you halve that, that's going to be plus 2, and you square it all. Now if you were to expand this, this gives you x squared plus 2x plus another 2x, which is 4x, what we've got here but plus 2 squared, plus 4. And there is no 4 here, so what we need to do is subtract it. So if you were to work out all of this, it comes to x squared plus 4x. And we do the same for y squared minus 2y. We complete the square on this, so you're going to have plus y minus 1 all squared if we halve the coefficient of the y here. Halving the coefficient of y gives us that minus 1. And if you were to open this bracket, or pair of brackets up and expand it, you'll get y squared minus 2y plus 1. There is no 1 here, so we need to subtract it. So all of this gives y squared minus 2y, and that equals 11. Now, minus 4 minus 1 is minus 5, and if you add 5 to both sides, you're going to end up with x plus 2 all squared plus the y minus 1 all squared equals 11 plus 5, which is 16. And you should be able to now compare this to what we've got up here for the form of a circle. And you can see that in that case, the center of the circle, let's just put that in, the center equals, well it has coordinates, minus 2, remember that it's minus x1, x1 is the center, so you, you are, have really got plus minus 2, so the center has coordinates minus 2, and then for the y coordinate, it's going to be y1, we can ignore that minus there, so it's going to be the 1. And as for the radius, part b of the question, we know that the radius squared equals 16, so the radius is the square root of 16. And normally if you square root a number it would be plus or minus, but obviously if it's a radius, it's a length, we just need the positive value for. Okay, so there's, that's the answer then to parts A and B of the question.